I always taunt here. No recovery. No recovery for you. We have the taunt rolling moon. We have the taunt moon. Yeah, get, get rid of this. But I'm, yeah, I'm still not overly confident. My, my wall has to get boosts. You sucker punch infiltrator. Nah. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. He was actually a sucker punch infiltrator, Paul. So today is probably the last day you are going to be seeing a video like this. And no, no, I'm not stopping uploading. I'm not retiring, but something is retiring. That is shit tell. So today is the 15th and on the 17th of April, shit tell is getting quick banned. It's not confirmed, but, but I'm pretty sure that shit tell is getting quick banned. Mostly because of a lot of reasons, but the main reason is shit tell into rolling moon. It's this combination is kind of an unstoppable combination, you know. So you know what, for the last time, let's give one showcase to shit tell plus rolling moon. I mean, in my channel, we haven't showcased it yet, but you know what, you know what, yeah, we can definitely, yeah. <clears throat> I think before it gets banned, this broken strategy, let's let's give it one last shot. So this is why I said this is the last time you're going to be seeing a live video of Shettel into Rolling Moon. And I totally support the cause. I myself voted that Shettel should be banned. It's extremely broken. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys, especially the HO guys, they love to use this combination. But let's not forget that it's not about any specific playstyle, it's about how balanced a uh, tier is. And I mean, Shetel into Earth Palm is like, I mean, Shetel into Salamence or Rolling Moon is like pretty busted. So, he might be a darts fault. He looks like a darts fault, but I don't mind. If he darts, okay, Shadow Ball, that is totally fine. I'm gonna get my joints up. <clears throat> I do not have a Suji into Shadow Ball at all. So, I think, yeah, I'll just say goodbye to you. And now I have some plays which I can make. First being Valiant. Let's go to Valiant. This Valiant is very, very good versus this team because, like, I, I'm gonna SD and I'm gonna knock that Gold Digger off. Okay. Okay, he wasted the Thrash Salization, which I will take though. We didn't even die to that, which is really good. And I'm just gonna throw a knock off. Yeah. What is, is this? Some scarf or something? Okay, perfect. We got the Gold Digger for free. He has to go to the Dragonite to revenge me. I'm gonna save my Valiant as a sack. And yeah, he has to. Oh. Okay, I like that though. I like it. I like it. I like the way this Dragonite. Yeah. Oh, you, I think it's banded. I'm not sure though, but I can check that out for sure. If you fire punches, we'll leave that. Okay. Yeah, you know right whom we are going to right. And the best part is, you know, he's infiltrator. So my Roaring Moon will leave every hit from this. This is also good, you know, if I can go to this because he can't kill me. But the thing is, uh, if I can go to Roaring Moon. Because he's infiltrator, right? So I will dodge. I mean, it's going to go through me. And then the D-Knight will e-speed me, so I leave that as well. The thing is going to be a heat, I don't have anything to hit that. But yeah, I mean, we should tell out in the Roading Moon, right? And now only one job you need to do, that is go for the DD. Uh, we should eat up this. Yeah, we eat that up. And as I said, and as I said that the the, yeah, the D-Knight will break myself, he goes for e-speed. So yeah, I think I'm just going to act to and get rid of something. Oh, this is, this is not bad at all because this is the Mon which I couldn't kill though. And I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's going to try to sand chill me, but... Yeah, the time, by that time, I think we should be wrapping up with a lot of mons at home. Yeah, we should be like getting almost half his team. And he has three turns left, so we, we're definitely gonna die. But we're gonna take three mons and he's gonna be standing at like one before situation. So he has to decide which, which ones he wants to give me. And I think, yeah, he's gonna keep the Dragapult because that is his best shot. But I'm, I, I, I do not think that Dragapult can kill my Moth plus uh, Tusk and combination of my Earth Bomb. I mean, Earth Bomb is gonna die, Tusk might also die if he gets critted, but Moth is never dying. My Moth is very, very bulky. He goes to this, this is definitely gonna die. Unless he's from Rocky Helmet, which I don't think he is. Yep. And I'm gonna be taking one more Mon. I'm gonna be taking one more. Okay. Yo, okay. So he's gonna commit with the D Knight and the Pout. Makes sense. This is the attack boost, which is totally fine. I'm gonna acro always. I'm told you, told you that this is this combination is extremely deadly, and yeah, it's gonna just blow through his team. <clears throat> and in this position, I always go to my Valiant just to go scout for his lead. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna go to my Valiant always to scout for his lead. The knockoff is pretty free here. He goes for the Shadow Ball, that's totally fine. <sighs> I have to go to Tuskati here because I'm not sure whether it will kill. I'm max speed, so I'm always gonna go for the spin. I always go for the spin here because he ain't killing me. Yeah, he's gonna do a lot, but he ain't killing me. And and now I can like uh, I spin out for free in case he makes a dumb double to the D knight. Oh wait, he cannot double. Then he's gonna. I mean, I spin. Do you even I spin even kill? You know what? Because he's gonna die to rocks. Then on the next switch in, I think 
Yeah, let's not make jokes. Let's just fix CC. Save CC, yeah. Because the Dragonite can never beat my yeah, Shake Tail into Wall Corona. That is not possible. And I have Dazzling Gleam on my Wall as well. So I'm gonna spin her here. Looks like he's banded though. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we got rid of the D Knight. Nice. So, okay, yeah, we're kind of high. Oh, we're in the 1600s. Perfect. This is the ladder range which I want to play with this team. So, yeah, let's see what we get. So, I told you, right? In first game only, you saw how deadly this combination is. Forgot to save the replay. Just save the replay always. <clears throat> also, for this special occasion, I have this amazing background. Man, Mani backgrounds give me so much strength. Yeah, whenever I play tournaments, I use a Mani background. Just you see this picture, this is, you, you're, you're gonna get the energy flowing through, you know, just see this picture, just see the energy. I mean, I think Barn is the strongest trainer right now, not a single trainer is as strong as her. This, this Galarian Mulch will be tell you something, it's gonna send Cynthia straight to the grave, you know. Yeah, don't mess with Marnie, don't mess with Marnie, man. You can mess with some, yeah, the Ash, Gary shit, but Marnie's gonna smoke you. Let's see what, I mean, obvious, the lead is pretty obvious with these teams, yeah. There's no way you're uh, banded darts, there's no way. Okay. I think it's Shadow Ball as well, you know. Yep, same, the exactly same thing is happening. So, yeah, we're gonna play this game the exact same way. So, first, uh, I, I wanna click the random model spin. I can, uh, oh yeah, perfect, 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 yeah. I just said, in case he makes a double, this is why I click the mod, random model spin. Is left over, so I keep clicking the model spin. If he subs, I don't mind. If he subs, yeah, I, as I said, I was gonna keep clicking the model spin. Uh, my earthworm will live. Most of these joints are, you know, most of these joints are earth power and flash cannon, so they can't even touch my earthworm. But they might be dark pulse though. But I think <clears throat> my uh, moth is pretty good here. These joints are earth power, I've seen, but I, I can gleam for free, it's gonna get destroyed. And if he testalizes, that is so good. Testalizing a poison mon, which is also chipped down heavily, I'll take that any freaking day. Okay, perfect. He goes to the Among Us, so we get the Gleam off. And, okay, this is even better actually, having not a leftovers. I don't know why these joints run this eject button and the eject, eject pad. Those items are so freakishly bad. He, okay, we are faster, he cannot kill us. I think I'm gonna nail this with Psychic. Oh, we are not dying at all. We do not die to that. Definitely we are not dying. Yeah. Forced to go to the Gambito. As I don't need this one anymore. I'm just gonna click the Fire Dance because you know right who's coming in next. Yeah, I wasn't joking at all. I wasn't bullshitting with him at all. And now we'll make the play to the Tuskati because this devil is in the Sucker Punch. Man, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm 100 miles ahead of him. This Headlong Rush is hilariously free, but I'm gonna click the CC because I will kill top with the next hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage, 35 I'm assuming. Yep. This is gonna get toasted by this Ice Spinner. Headlong Rush is stronger, but I'm pretty sure Ice Spinner will do the job. He goes to his own Tuskati. This is my setup fodder, by the way, but he might even spin. But I think I'll, this is my setup fodder. I'm gonna go to my Earthworm. Yeah, he spins. Just gonna shed tail out. Oh. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we still get the. We still get the shed tail off. Oh. God damn it, man. Ah, one HP. God damn it, one HP. Ah, damn it, one HP. Stupid. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and get yeah, body plays off. Okay, damn it, one HP, that kind of, that, that sucks though, that sucks. I can go to Valiante, yeah. Oh, what does he do versus this? Really wanna Encore and SD, you know? Mm. Yeah, get Encore, get Encore, get Encore, and I can SD now. I'm gonna SD on his face now, <laughs> I'm gonna SD on his face. <laughs> yeah, and this is so over, yeah, I just uh, knocked this straight out of, out of the park, yep. <laughs> we couldn't get the shed tail off, but that's, I mean, it still doesn't matter. This is gonna, it's, it's eject fag, it's, it's not left over, it's eject fag, let's not forget that. Straight go to the grave. Straight go, it's, it's offensive, it's hell offensive, it's gonna die. It's mad offensive. Yeah, by, by the earthworm damage, I could tell. There's no move this gambit can go for that is gonna kill me. Yup, I don't know why I would even make that SD play on my, on my, on my, uh, moth. Yeah, he, he thought that he wants to be a hotshot versus Blim, but let me tell you something, Blim is 100 miles ahead of you. Yep, this, let's give this Dragapult a painful, painful death and send him out of commission. Yeah, you learned a lesson for over predicting versus Blim. You learned a lesson. When you have simple plays, why would you make predictions? That's my biggest question to everyone. When you can make simple plays and win. Yeah, I barely make predictions. I never ever make predictions unless I need to. Yeah, you see the you see the best players. It, I always like tell ABR is the best player. If you see ABR playing, he never predicts unless he needs to. Unless he's super pressure or yeah. It never predicts. All the great players, they never predict. If you see Empo. If you see ABR, yeah, these guys never predict, man. 
you should you should you should always put yourself in a position that you never need to predict yeah just simple plays and stuff yeah so i don't know whether you get taunt or not king garen gets taunt it's a t so taunt is here it might get the t move so i think the t monks gets the t move right king garen gets taunt then what are the t monks yeah t tiger gets taunt yeah t tiger gets taunt but the goat monks are with t my bad okay if he giga turns me i am fine i'm going to just going to get the t spike up i mean this is a problem i'm just going to i can t wave all that stuff but i'm going to man i i i am I'm, i'm not even joking this i mean in this in gen gen remember every ice move would freeze me and in gen 9 every paralysis move not is not just going to para you but uh, me then also is going to get the first turn paralysis every i'm telling i'm not even joking i'm not even bullshitting every move okay is definitely knocking off here you know but it's fine i'm going to on code he goes to the core me but he has to touch me you know i'm going to power jump to do some damage he can chip me that's totally fine i don't mind i'm going to power jump to a decent chunk of damage he might roost but he's going to turn to the turn to the claw red but he's not weak to rocks i don't know why he's making this play he's not weak to rocks but you know that what happens if he goes to claw he knows i hope he knows what happens if he goes to claw i hope he knows oh good play goes to into gold digger hmm so there are a lot of plays i can make Hmm. You know what? What play I'm gonna make? My Tusker is so freakishly good. I'm gonna go to my Moth first. Yeah, go to my Moth. I wanna fire dance once. Let him go to the Claw. I'm not gonna get the boost. That's why. Man, never ever I get man. Never ever. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't know what that play was though. I have no clue why would he make such a play, but I can fire dance and kill this off now. I'm always seeing the fire dance. Oh, he might get swept here. He might straight up get clean swept here, unless he specializes this. But I'm, oh my god, he's gonna get swept here. Straight up, he's gonna get swept here if I get the boost. Never ever I get the boost. Never ever. This this lives by the way. This thing lives. That's the problem. This thing lives. Yeah. Man, see no boost. What the hell is happening right now? No freaking boost. What on earth is happening right now? God damn it, man. That sucks. That sucks so much. But it's still fine. I can go to you. Hmm. I want to spin once. Man. Okay, nice. He's hel he's helmet. Oh, please be oh thank god. Yeah. Run more helmets. Yeah, run more helmets. I'll get free wins. I'll just smoke those free wins out of you guys. Run helmets. Yeah, run helmets and the yeah, run uh, eject pack all that stuff. I tell you, I tell all of you like run leftovers and stuff. But you all be not listening, man. Not my fault. That is fine. I just said I'm I'm gonna set up on this. We have chipped the gam. We haven't chipped, but we're gonna set up on this, you know. So he sees it. Right? You know what? I can specialize this and chip out, but he might like throw random knock. He might even scarf. I don't know what his joint is. But like <clears throat> my roading moon cannot win because he has a gambido. I think I'll check the shuttle regardless. Check the shuttle regardless. Yeah, it's totally fine. I go to my galiant here. Yep, it's SD up. SD up. Yeah, he has already crystallized. So, yep. Yeah, send this to the grave. Yeah, get lost. If he goes to the Gambido, oh, you are you are die, you die, you die. And if you recover also, I'm gonna encode you. But I wanna say, Gambit dies, right? There's no way. I mean, still he can't he can't beat my Rolling Moon with Trust combination. I think I crystallize and knock in case he's some dumb unaware. Oh, he's unaware. But we cover or do what? Oh, yeah, you're gonna get on code, you know. You're gonna get on code. I'm gonna keep knocking off. Yeah. <clears throat> There's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing you can do. He's trapped. Yeah. This was scarfed, I guess. I think it's not banded for sure. It's leftovers. Okay. Nice speed break here. Good greetings. <clears throat> And he's gonna get swept by my. Uh... Yes, Tesla is ready. He's gonna get swept by Tuskati. I think I knock off here always. Oh, he can quake. Oh, he can quake, but I knock. Now he can on code, get on code. That's fine. That is fine. I'm gonna still get the knock. He's gonna still get knocked. Twenty-eight. <clears throat> yeah, enough. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm so sick of that same old love. Uh, I can ice spinner. Yeah, I'm so sick of that same old love, man. I'm just so sick of that same old love. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, why? I, just look at his team. Just look at the water weakness. Just look at the water weakness. Like, yeah, no, no resistance to water, and yeah, he is like, yeah, 
yes that i mean it doesn't matter at all yeah my rolling mill is going to eat, eat, eat it up i pound as well so it doesn't matter hmm. just look at the water weakness and look at and down right lord i mean yeah i'm out of words but regardless i pound as well so i think i'm going to crunch you know i'm going to crunch 38 that's fine defense drop okay nice crunch 63 Okay, let's let's throw a ton just to show who's boss. Oh yeah, get the hell out of here, man! Why why would he even run on a white cloud versus? Look at his team is so weak to water, man. He doesn't have a single water resist. Why would he even run that? Man, I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. I don't think like anyone should ever run on a white cloud. Yeah, there are a lot of better unaware bonds. Like uh, you have, you can if you want a speed of unaware bond, then the dozo or the skeleton dog, you know. I mean, there's no sense to run unaware Claude because even if it's like unaware, it loses to every, everything. If you're if you're running an unaware uh, speed of a uh, speed of Claude, you're over it. You're gonna get over it killed by Moth. You're gonna get Shadow Ball killed by Paul. You, I mean, not Shadow Ball, Draco killed by Paul. Yeah, you're gonna get set up on by Hydra. So next doesn't make sense to run unaware Claude. At least with Skelly Dog, you can like get the boost and stuff. Even with Dozo, you can pass up. But yeah, I think you lose with unaware Claude. It's not a good one. Claude is a good one. Claude is an amazing one. But the water absorb is amazing. With unaware, yeah, it's shit. Okay, same. Let's go with Gamora on that as Hydra. This joins Caddy. Uh, his team is not weak to rocks at all. I think I'll prefer the model spin damage. He might solve. That's the thing. Bad guy, I mean. Uh, I can part him once actually. It's fine. He's definitely pulsing here. I want to keep this just to get random spike. He's pulsing here for sure. He, I'm telling you, these joints are mostly like our power and flash cannon, but he might be dark pulse though. I don't know, but it's okay. Fine. Is dark pulse and out power okay? Nice. Dark pulse and out power. Just keep that in mind. Let's go to my Valiante. Yep. Hit the knock on the Skelly Dog. Hmm. Oh, that did so much damage. If I hit, I'm gonna kill it, but I'm gonna kick just the knock because if he goes for the recover, I'm gonna uncode that joint. Actually, I can on call. S D up. <clears throat> S D up here. Now I knock. This is the only one I get to need, I need to get rid of because then my yeah, rolling moon will destroy him. Break burn me, please. Good damage. Yeah, let's knock off. He's not gonna die, I guess. He's not recover, right? Okay, so you know who's coming in right now. Yeah. Not much to do. I can get a spike up. Spike is good, but I can like shit tail out and beat him up. Oh, that's a that's a bad play, mate. Okay, he's gonna get set up down now. We have chipped the dog down. We have taunt as well, so I don't think yeah. I think he's screwed. And he, this this Kelly dog, it's it's speed up. It's not even fish death. I just terra stellarize. I DD up. Yeah. Hmm. We're gonna go to Omega Max. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even. Oh my God, he's so screwed. You are so screwed, my guy. You are so freaking screwed right now. Oh, he's gonna get to get the lad. Oh my God, I can't even imagine this damage. Oh, he doesn't even break my sub. He's so screwed. Oh my god, dude, you are so screwed. This combination, I'm telling you, this this Shetland to Rolling Moon combination, it's shit, man. Why is it even allowed? I, I, yeah, I think no point of sending a Rolling Moon, but you think definitely should like. He has to like uh, testalize, as you know. But what does he Terra into? Look at, I have seven thirty four attack. Even if you Terra, you're not gonna get much. You're gonna get easy to it kill. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even Terra. I think he's given up. And this combination, I'm telling you. It, yeah, that's GG. It's totally GG. Yeah, GG, man. I I I feel for him. He couldn't do anything there. It's not his fault though. It's not his fault. He has a very good team, but he's a pretty balanced team, you know. He has the Unaware Mon. He has the Corby. He has the Hydra, which I don't think he should be using Hydra. It's a shitty Mon. Then he has the Claude. He has double ground. Okay, his team is bad. Screw it. Yeah. I was gonna be sympathetic, but when I saw the double ground and the Hydra, yeah, it's a bad team. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a, a dicey matchup because this thing, as long as the thing Louis, I cannot uh, shed tail out that easily. Actually, I can, but not on a thing Louis. On something else, I can shed tail out. I can, I can taunt the thing Louis, you know. But he has the Baxi as well. Okay, pretty dicey matchup. But let's see. Okay, you are the one I want to chip down very, very bad. I want to heavy chip down you. Nice, good play by him. Ah, uh, not much. Just get getting my joints up. Good play. He, he made a really good play, though. He made a really, really good play. Yeah, that is a good play made. You know what I want to do here? I straight up want to go to the Rolling Moon. 
I want to castleize and taunt him, and then I want to start bleeding up. Then I'm going to lose to the back series. Nah, yeah, I go to Tuskati. Hmm. Just CC. He can go to Among Us, take a lot of damage, <laughs> get owned. Yeah. Okay, good riddance, good riddance. So if he goes to Baxi, it's gonna be a speed tie. If he goes to the Volk, I'm gonna go to my Volk. But he might go to Corvan and get a defog just to save his Volk, you know. Yeah, and as I said, he's gonna take a lot of damage. I Please be Helmet, please be Helmet, don't be Leftovers. Okay, this looks like Speederfish with a big dip. Oh, perfect, so perfect, 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 yeah. I can Terrestrialize and Rapid Spin instantly win the game, but he has a Tuskati, so let's not do that. But yeah, my Tuskati has destroyed his whole team. Almost half of the team already gone. This team is so dangerous, yeah, this this combination. Yeah, you know what, yeah, you can rest in peace, that's fine. These are most likely choice specs, because he's using most likely a combination of specs, Moth and, uh, yeah, Baxi. But you know what I can do, I can go to my own, and no, not now. Not now for sure. Go to Worm. I don't know, he looks like he's specs though, but I'm gonna scare a spiker up. Nice. Yeah, get my full family up. <clears throat> Okay, I don't want to Shaktel out as, as I said, but if I chip this, my wall kind of gets opened up, you know. I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill. I'm, I'm damn sure it doesn't kill, but I'm going to go for it either way. I knew it doesn't kill. I'm going to lose the game just for this. This one is, I'm this one is like, yeah. But I think, yeah, I think we're still in a good shape because my, I think my Valiante should wrap the game up if we play good, that is. Because I always go to my Earthworm here. I always go to Earthworm. Actually, Rolling Moon is a fine class really because if it gleams, I go to Earthworm. Okay, I cannot check till out. But if he gleams, gonna be a problem. I think I have to bait the flamethrower. Oh! I will try to. Oh, of course, it's close combat. Hmm, I body press. Yeah, he can spin. Body press. Keep body pressing. Keep body pressing. That is still fine. My Valiant is faster. Oh, this is not good. I have my Terra left, right? Yeah, I have my Terra left. Oh, it, it's fine, it's fine. I have my Terra left. My Rolling Moon can set up on this. Okay. Go to my Valiante. Don't know why would he bulk up, but I think my Valiante will still... Oh, wait, he's booster, right? It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, trust me, it's fine. Nice. Quick break. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Unless we get to the backseat. How much speed he is? This is like plus two speed. He is bulk up, close combat, rapid spin, headlong rush, two x attack. It's gonna hurt, but yeah. Do I DD up? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. You know that backsy. I can't kill the backsy. Have to DD up. We take too much damage, I guess. Yeah, we take too much damage. Okay, it's fine. You know what? Yeah, we lost this game. Fair and square. Because just because one play, one play, we lost this game. I underestimated the. Underestimated the King Louis. Underestimated the King Louis. But if he got the kill on the Louis, it was like 20% over. But yeah, it's fine. Let's get the next one. Yeah, never underestimate the speed up of that Mon. Taking that, yeah. I guess I should have calc, you know, but it's still fine. Let's see. Oh, why am I forbidding? Yeah. The same lead is the same. Lead over the Gamora. And this fault, I don't know what his fault is, but it might be banned. I'm not sure though. Oh, yeah, it's a road power. I want the chip on you. AV Pex confirm. Hydro Pump Pex, what the? What on earth is that? Hydro Pump Pex? Oh, he, he's not bullshitting at all. He has a straight up loaded the Hydro Pump Pex. What the hell is that? What the hell is this Hydro Pump Pex? Oh my god, yeah, straight up he loaded. He was not bullshitting at all. He was not bullshitting at all. He doesn't have a flying tap, I realized. Yeah, just gonna headlong rush you. Oh, hydro pump, what on earth is this? Why does he have a hydro pump pex? <laughs> that makes no sense, man. <laughs> AV hydro pump pex, he's gonna get he's gonna get rolling moon. Pretty soon he's gonna get rolling moon. Okay, yeah, Tuskati comes out at obvious. Are you offensive? Oh, you're max defensive, but that is totally fine. I'm just gonna... He's gonna spin, right? Uh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot I have something for you. I have something good for you. Yep. I'm gonna keep my Tuskati... He knocks on my shit, shit trust. He knocks on my shit trust. Just gonna shit tell out. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Nice play by him. <laughs> nice play by him. Yeah, that's a really good play by him. I'm thinking what we go to. Should we go to the trusty combination or should we go to the valiant combination? 
because valiante beats everything actually except the uh, except the uh, gambido but if we get chip on the gambido we might win the game hmm cuz i sd here on the uh, tuskati for sure then i click the spirit break then i knock off the uh, the knock off the uh, the dog yeah i think i prefer the valiante because we can still like a dd up on something else with our rolling moon rolling moon if i go to rolling moon i crystallize a dd up and then i'm i'm he's gonna i don't know what he's gonna go to though screw it just uh, go to thrusty but thrusty buddy crystallize i dd up crystallize dd up oh skelly dog comes out i wanna say he's gonna go for the uh, but wait he wait he, he cannot he cannot touch song because then he's gonna go through, go through my sub he has to fair fair oh water okay nice i have taunt by the way i'm not worried yeah i always taunt here no recovering no recovery for you we have the taunt rolling moon we have the taunt moon yeah get, get rid of this hydro pump pex <laughs> yes hydro pump pex so i don't know what is that why would it done hydro pump pex but yeah we are inside the sub and if we chip down the the what is called the gambito i think we should be in a good spot here but i'm yeah i'm still not overly confident my my wall has to get boosts you sucker punch infiltrator nah you're bluffing you're bluffing he was actually a sucker punch infiltrator paul okay yeah let's go to valiante uh let's sd up always sd up now we jump off oh that does a charm he's going to sludge bomb most likely okay good live good live good live yeah i can on core and you know i can on core and set up on this that's a really good play on core and set up on this but ah we have chipped this down right kind of if i this guy just going to pump i can on core and set up actually should i on core and set up you got to do what you got to do yeah this fire dance here please get the boost for god's sake get the boost please get the boost for god's sake don't let me down he was actually an infiltrator sucker punch fault man get the goddamn boost <clears throat> Hurry up, hurry up, what? Please get the boost, God damn it, man! The only reason I run this move because of the boost. Else I would have run a. Okay. Oh wow. Oh oh. Why would you go to the gambit though? Never ever you get a boost. I hate, man, you're such a. I hate this boost strategy. Yeah, you're gonna take a million amount of damage. Never ever you get the stupid boost. Come on, man. Never ever you get the boost. The hex lives, I guess, but we can still, you know, we can still pull up, come back. How much special attack? Five twenty three. Nah. No way you leave this. There's no way you leave that. Yeah, there's no way. Hmm. Yeah, he's supposed to go to the fold. Hmm. Ah. I have to gleam. I have to gleam here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why would you do sucker though? Why the hell would I do sucker? Why would I do sucker? He's not even speed boosting. Why the hell went to sucker? I think it is psychic you here. Yeah, wow. Okay, I, I like the play. I like the play which he made. That's gonna cost him the game. He not suckering is yeah. I, I would have lost this game though. But yeah, I think <laughs> you deserve you deserve that though. Yeah, you wouldn't sucker. You you try to make a you try to make a whack play, and that's what. That, yeah, okay, simple man. <laughs> man, it's okay, fine. Yeah, to each their own. Let's get up with the Gamora and let's get my rockers up. I mean, I lied. Get my power gem up. If he stays in and okay, I was not, I was not doing anything actually. Just gonna model spin you. He can kill me, I don't mind actually, because he has like a. Oh, that is good. I was not such waving at all. Yeah, didn't have the intention to. He has a poison type. He has three ground types. Okay, yeah. But if you waste your terra typing just to get rid of hazards, which you're not even, he's not even weak to hazards. I'll take it. I go to you. Get my spin off. <laughs> just spinning, not much. Just spinning. I hope you're scarfed. I really hope you're choice scarfed. He looks like I really hope you're choice scarfed. Oh my god, you are not. You're definitely not choice scarfed. He might get swept here. Oh no, he has a tuskadi. He has a tuskadi. 
Oh god, this is bad. This is looking very very bad bad for our guy. Oh, oh. Okay, he's gonna take like 75 and whirlwind me out. 90, my bad. I lied. Oh, no whirlwind. He's offensive or something. Oh, he's, he might be banded though, you know. He might be banded. That is 69 to a minus 1 tusk. That might be banded, I'm not sure though. But yeah, we are like Omega boosted now. Yeah, just CC to scout how much he, how much invested he is. Okay, he is like, he has some, he has some offense. Head long rust. I'm the earth eater, so... Check tail out. Okay, perfect, yeah. I mean, we're gonna get back to decent chunk of HP. We check tail out, and you know right who's coming and ending the game right now. Go to the moon, you terrestrialize, you DD up. Yeah, we're gonna end this live with a classic check tail running moon. Sweep. Sweeper. Yeah. Classic check tail loading moon sweeper dude. Nice. The thing is like I don't kill the sandy shots at this range. I'm gonna CC again. DD again. If he's ice spinner though, we'll leave that. Perfect. Nice. Oh my god. This is this gonna <laughs> This is disgusting. This is, <laughs> this is disgusting. This is gonna be pure pure destruction, man. So yeah, you now you saw now you saw why I told you this is this is probably the last time you're gonna be seeing this combination live. Because as I told you, they are, the OU Council, they had they had they sent out this survey for the month of April. I'm going to show you how you can take that survey. I'm going to show you. Just open Pokemon Showdown. Yeah, it's going to it's going to it's going to be like this when you open Pokemon Showdown. Just go to the overuse room, and then if you just go to the room, you will see this OU tiering survey. Click that link, and also you need a Smogon account. You need a Smogon account. So click this link, and it should take you to this page. So this is the trading survey page. Make sure to not set your personal email. So this is my, yeah, this is my, uh, this is the email with, uh, this is my partnership email basically. So I'm, I'm using this, my corporate email. So yeah, you do not use your personal email. Use some random email or use an, use an email which doesn't reveal any of your personal information. That is the first thing which you need to check because you do not want to share any kind of personal information. For example, if your email has your first name, your last name, your surname, your middle name, your father's name, your mother's name, your wife's name, just yeah, don't let that be any sort of email, just yeah, use some random email and then, but the fields which you need to be careful is this, Smogon username, so you have to create a Smogon account to vote, so here go to Smogon forums and if you click here, there is an option to create account, but I have already created an account, yeah, I'm a very old user, so I'm going to use it. this is my Smogon name, this, so I'm going to fill up this. I'm gonna take the voting right now. I haven't voted yet. So, first question is how enjoyable do you find the current meta game? I think I'm gonna put it at six, just because like Chetel is extremely garbage and there is I, I don't support some of the mons. Why six? Because let me just open the tier. So yeah, this this mon is like yeah, this Chetel is extremely unbalanced. I used it today. I liked using it today, but I can feel like I feel some of the guys. That guy that I think a lot of see just for example this game. I mean, he doesn't have a bad team, but like, what can you even do? You what can you even do? Some with this one has a 980 attack. Even at plus one, if you just just get one DD up, this one attack is gonna be at a 750 plus. And then you get terrestrialized, and you then get the acrobatic stab. And acrobatics is just one of the strongest flying moves in the game. And flying stab has bare minimum resistances because there are no rock types in the OU tier except Garg, but then again you have Earthquake, you have Taunt and stuff, so there's not a single one which can take an Acro really well. Even if you went to the Sandy Shocks, if I were plus one, so it, this Acro would have done at least like 65% and I highly doubt his T-Bolt would have killed him because Rolling Moon has got all the highest special defenses. I mean, he can't do anything, you know, so I, yeah, I think that this one, Earth Tom is extremely unbalanced and then King Gambit, yeah, King Gambit needs to go, King Gambit is like extremely, extremely broken. It's not like if I give Earthworm 5 out of 5, then I would give King Gambit 4 out of 5 because like King Gambit is extremely broken. You don't need skill to win games with King Gambit. It's just gonna come, it's gonna suffer you. You know what it's gonna do, right? You know what it's gonna do. You know how to check it, but still you can't because that's how it is. And I think that Garg, which was once broken, Garg is pretty shit now. Yeah, I don't think Garg is not that good. It's okay, but it's not that level which it like, yeah, people thought it was. It's very annoying, it's all cures, but I think people have adapted to it really easily. So yeah, I don't think Garg is broken. Gold Digger, I mean, if you get rid of Gold Digger, the metagame is gonna be a lot healthy. But then again, I don't think it's very broken. But hey, if you want to make the metagame healthy, I think you should definitely get rid of Gold Digger. But I don't have a problem with Gold Digger because it's pretty easy to deal with, you know. And also like Gold Digger, it gives you free turns because my main way of dealing with Gold Digger is I go to my speed Corp, 
I U turn out and then I go to a faster mall which has very strong, for example, like a like an Iron Moth or a Great Thirst or a Baxi, Banded Baxi. Just go to Cor, get a U turn out, go to one of those malls and you get free kills. So I don't mind gold diggers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this one, this one, this one needs to go straight go. Yeah, don't even think twice. I don't know whether they have put Dragonite in the list, but Dragonite is like it's it's unimaginably broken. Yeah. Dragonite and King Game, you know it's gonna do the same thing, right? Both are late game setup sweepers. Still, I mean, King Game is extremely bulky. It has one of the strongest striding moves in the game. And then Dragonite, Dragonite is some next level cheat. First, you don't know what set is gonna run. You might keep your Red Tusk healthy just to check D Knight. You see that D Knight is gonna go for the DD. You bring your 100% HP Great Tusk in. The next move which it goes is a Hurricane. Stab Hurricane. Great Tusk gets awkward. And then your, your team is opened up straight up. So unless you have something like a Dozy, unless you have something like a Fist Dead, Skelly Dog, you are going to be losing to D-Knight. There's nothing you can do. Even if you're running a Fist Dead Corp, unless you're running Iron Defense, you're going to get swept by D-Knight or you're going to get PP stalled by D-Knight. Because let's say you have Brave Bird or Body Crest Corp, D-Knight is just going to go to plus 6, roost everything up, provided, provided they run the Fire Punch. If they have Fire Punch, then you can pray to God. Yeah. But they're going to go to plus 6 and those E-Speeds as plus 6, they do minimum like 55% to Corp. So either you have to predict all 8 e-speeds correctly, which is not possible even for me. And then you're gonna get easy tweet throw and get swept. So like D9 is like hilariously broken. I think D9 needs to go. ASAP D9 needs to go. And then I think the other ones are pretty fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think uh, some of these are gonna drop me. Like Azu. Azu is very Azu is a very weird one. It, it's it's good in versus some matchups in OU, but then again, I don't think it it was it was really good in the early meta, but I think it has dropped quite a bit. But it's still good, you know, it can check some mods really well, like Baxi, if you're running AV, it can check Armourous to an extent, <clears throat> it can check Cellulose to an extent, then it can check Specs Dragapult, Banner Dragapult to an extent, now nah, you can't check Denied, but yeah, you can. it can take on Gold Digger pretty well, the AV sets, but it's not reliable. Yeah, Granger is kinda checked by Azu, Hydra is totally checked, then Moth, I mean, it checks if it's AV, it can take, but Sludge Wave checks Sludge Wave is gonna blow that joint up. Valiante, yeah, it's it's gonna be dicey. You're gonna get destroyed by Gambit unless you're running superpower. Rolling Moon, you're gonna get destroyed by Acro, and then pretty much, yeah. And oh yeah, and Volcarona. So in this meta, I don't know about you all. You can, you guys can share in the comments like how do you feel about Volcarona? But to me, Volcarona has never been a problem to me. I have never been swept by Volcarona except in that one live where that that guy was using rain into flying Volcarona with those hurricanes. Yeah, that is something which you are not, never gonna face. Some heat stuff, but yeah, I have never got set by Volcarona. I think it's a it's a decent one. You can check like, I mean the bulky sets are good. I don't know about the offensive sets. I think you are better off with using some other powerful mods. Like for example, you are better off with using Walking Wake or Zoroark or even I think Iron Moth <clears throat> surpasses Volcarona offensively to every possible extent. Yeah, no point of using Volcarona offensively. The only use of Volcarona is get the Flame Body Ops. Max HP, max defense with Quiver Dance and Morning Sun and stuff. It doesn't even get boost now, so Morning Sun is not reliable. Especially with the high sloking usage nowadays, you're, you're gonna be getting in the hail, you're gonna be getting 25% HP back. So, I don't think Volcarona is that broken. It's, it's okay, it's not the best one. I think I would rate it as a B rank one now. I don't like Volcarona. Yeah. I mean, I don't like using Volcarona, not facing. I love facing Volcarona because it's useless as a piece of shit, but I don't like using Volcarona. Oh, High Flotion. Hilarious is broken, man. High Flotion is gonna go home. And I think the pretty mons are, yeah, the other mons are quite fine to me. Like Ninja Scrad is a very, very good mon, makes the game fun to play. Hatrin is amazing. Hatrin is like one of my favorite mons to use. And then, yeah, pretty much, I think I've spoken way too much. Garchomp, Garchomp is underused. Garchomp is heavily underused and underrated. Garchomp has insane potential. That, that live I showed you, right? The substitute Garchomps are extremely dangerous. Garchomp has insane potential, man. I think you should be using Garchomp more. Yeah. So yeah, this is my thought process with the tier. So let's complete the voting. I mean the test. Six on a scale of one to ten. How competitive you find find balance find the current medium balance just because of Shetfell Orthwam. I'm gonna put it at four. For the following rate, how what the tiering action of this Pokemon? Okay. Shetfell, no point. Volcarona, let's make it a two. Yeah. How do you feel about King Amid? Oh boy, how do you feel about Karganachi? A three. Not mentioned, you will see the council look into. Um, nah. Then, 
Do you at least play it? Oh, no, I'm retired for tournaments. Did you get sporting requirements for the chain power walking with test? Yep, I've got requirements for both. Do you make 64? No, I'm retired for tournaments. Are you top 50 on the ladder? Three. I think I have three alls in top 150. Yeah, three alls. Aphrodite vibes. And then we have Legion Assault. And then we ha have, uh, what is that? My other account. Uh, I don't think Tesla is at top 50. Uh, rig targets. Yep. And then you share your opinions. And this, this, this feels I left blank, but if you want the council to look into stuff, you can just write it here. I'm pretty sure they're gonna read your responses and if they find feasible, yeah, they might take action. But if you type random stuff like ban Gaganakel from OU, yeah, definitely they're gonna not, yeah, not entertain you. But if you want something like, for example, like, uh, can you check when uh, Keda at preview will be Implemented for example, I think this is a very valid question and for example <clears throat> Can we Can we retest? Uh, can we retest? Can we retest? No, can you? Uh, can you? Can you? Complex ban Stuff instead of Directly banning the all Pokemon, I think these are very valid questions which you can ask if you want to. Just some examples and then after filling all fields, just click on submit. And you have completed the tiering survey form. And as I said, this is gonna be, the voting finishes on April 15th. So yeah, I think, I think you have to do this within 24 hours. And also in the 17th, I think they're gonna take the action on 17th. So this is why I said, the 17th is when you are not gonna be seeing Earthworm anymore. So this is probably the last video you see on the Shake Tail Roaring Moon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to use the team, it's in the description as always. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will catch all of you guys with an amazing video tomorrow. So stay safe, take care, and peace, my dear friends.